What's the matter? I don't know. Well, if you're going to fool that old bromide about being out of gas... On Look, the I am not out of gas. I'm not in a romantic mood, so just cut it out, will you? Killjoy. Oh, boy, this is all I need. Stranded out somewhere in Long Island. You and your shortcut back to town, Dora. I should know better. Well, I was only trying to help. It seems I can't depend on anybody anymore. I send a reporter out to do a job, cover a story. What happens? I have to cover it myself. I'm sorry. The trouble is that people in this country don't have any initiative. They don't take pride in their work. They depend on others to do their jobs for them. Well, if you don't like it here, why don't you go back where you came from? I can't. I was banned in Boston. <laughs> it, it, it's got to be the gas line. Mm-hmm. Oh, luckily there's a house up there. Maybe we can go up and phone the service station. So you're just like the others. Things don't work out, you go get help. Well, I don't need any help. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix this myself. It'll, it'll just take a couple of minutes. Sure, it will. Are you sure you don't want me to go up there and call? No. <laughs> Gee, it's a beautiful house. I'd love to see the inside of it. I wonder who lives there. But, Gee, it's a wonderful part, and Scheidemann wants only you to do it. Please, I told you, I have no desire to go back on the stage. I've been retired for years, and I like it that way. Besides, I've been out of the theater so long, nobody would remember me. Well, how can you say that? Everybody remembers Captain Lydon. Not in this generation. And please forget Captain Lydon. I'm Kate Harris now. Well, you make me so mad. You used to be the biggest star on Broadway, and here's your chance to do it again. I don't want to do it again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to change. Yeah, but think of the money. I don't need the money. I have plenty. Well, then think of the excitement of another opening night. Please, Ned, stop talking to me as though I were a stage-struck ingenue. I went through it once. I loved it. But that was over ten years ago. Since then, I've lived a normal life. And I like it. You mean you really like this domestic bit? Yes. I love the simple privacy. No more hectic rehearsals, newspaper reporters, publicity pictures, autograph hounds. Oh, outside of a few friends, people don't know I even exist anymore. I know. I had a tough time finding it myself. Seriously, Kate, Scheidemann will give you anything you want if you'll just do this play for him. Well, let him get somebody else. After all, I'm no longer a youngster. Darling, well, how can you say that? You're still just as glamorous as you ever were. You're you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you Excuse me, I was talking to Miss Lydon. Kate! <laughs> just what are you made up for? I've got work to do. What kind of work? I have to clean the housekeeper's cottage. I had to let her go yesterday on account of her gambling. She spent more time at the racetrack than she did here. She left the place a mess. Well... Why do you have to clean it up? You have other servants. It's their day off, and I'm expecting an applicant for the job. I just can't let her see the place the way it is. Kate, as your agent, I beg you to... Be a dear and help me carry these things down to the housekeeper's cottage. Are you sure this is the career you want? <laughs> Allow me. Liars. <laughs> Your few minutes were up an hour ago. <laughs> just can't understand it. They just don't make cars the way they used to. Well, Mike, we've got to be back at the office by noon. Why don't you please go up and phone the service station? All right, all right, I'll go with you. But only for one reason. Some of the parts are missing. Somebody must have stolen them. Oh, sure, while you were driving. That's a neat trick. <laughs> <laughs> don't be sarcastic, will you? All right, I'll go. It's... Boy, it's a long way up to that house. Well, there's a housekeeper's cottage inside the gate. They must have a phone. Yeah, well, all right, you run along. I'll, uh... Get some of the grease off my hands, make myself look presentable, and boy, they sure don't make cars the way they used to. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, you must have had a good house. She deliberately left it this way, out of spite. I had to send most of the furniture out to be cleaned. The rest I had to throw away. You know, Kate, you'll never get this place clean. Why don't you just have it condemned? <laughs> it isn't going to be easy, but I can try. <coughs> What's the matter? 
Ammonia. Kate, you shouldn't be doing this. Please, Ned, I've got a lot of work to do. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, I beg your pardon. My car broke down. I wonder if I could use your phone to call a service station. Well, I think there's one in there. Just ask Miss Lighton. M Miss Harris. She's inside. Uh, thank you. That fellow won't bear watching. <laughs> What a pig pen. This is the latest decor, early beatnik. <laughs> Nothing a good fire couldn't take care of. It looks like they already had one. I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh. Oh, I didn't hear you come in. Uh, yeah, well, uh, our car broke down. We'd like to use your phone. Certainly. You'll find it in the kitchen. Haven't I seen you someplace before? Uh, I think not. Have you, uh, worked here long? Worked? Uh, oh, I, I, I've been here for quite some time now. Yes, well, thank you. And, Dora, let's, uh, make the call. Hmm? This room is even worse than the other one. At least she's consistent. She carries the motif throughout the house. Did you grab it? Yeah. Dora, you know who that is out there? The maid. I don't know her, but you know, Mike, she looked vaguely familiar. You, you remember what the man at the door called her? Miss Harris? No, 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 no. The first name he used. Lyden. 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 Yes. She's not. That, that's Catherine Lyden. Yeah. She used to be such a big star on Broadway. Such a big star. She was the first lady of the theater. I tell That's her. She's working as a maid. What oh, does happen to her? Well, I don't know, but whoever she's working for ought to be ashamed of themselves. No. Look at this hovel she's living in. There's not, there's not even any furniture. Well, they don't look at this. They don't look give her anything this. to eat. <laughs> They've got her on starvation wages. This is a disgrace. Uh, did you see her closet? One lousy dress and a pair of broken down shoes. She used to be the best dressed girl on Broadway. She must have made a lot of money on the stage, didn't she? Well, she made a fortune. And about ten years ago, she quit and dropped out of sight completely. Well, what do you suppose reduced her to these circumstances? <laughs> well, I don't know, Dora. I don't know. can't imagine. I... Mm. Oh, no. Dora, here's the answer. Plays the horses. She gambled it all away. She's a two-dollar better. <laughs> a great story. Not only for our service, but we could sell it to a New York paper. Yeah, yeah, I know the story, but you know, we've got to help her first. I saw all her shows when I was a kid, and I loved her, and each and every one, Dora. Well, I've got some money here. Maybe we... Hey. No, 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 Dora. No, no, no. Don't do that. She'd gamble it away. She'd just lose it at the track. Now, listen, we got to get back to the office. I want you to telephone the garage right away. Use the phone. Here, Dora. And uh, I'm going in and talk to her. But you're not going to tell her you know who she is. Oh, no, 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 no. That would embarrass her, you see. I'm going to help her first. Help her. Okay. All right. You phone. Phone. <laughs> Oh, we're having a, a little trouble getting the number. <laughs> oh, well, maybe there's something wrong with it. Oh, oh here, 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 take it easy. You're not as young as you used to. I mean, you're a little old for this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. No matter how you phrase it, it comes out the same. <laughs> and you're right. Shouldn't be doing this kind of work at all. I have to. I'll admit it's a little strenuous. It's too strenuous, and I'm going to make sure that you have easier work. Well, I don't really have to. Uh, I have to. I finally got the garage. It'll be right over. Oh, well, fine. Uh, we'll be running along, and thanks for the use of your phone. Don't you worry. Things are going to get better real soon. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> from the bookies. <laughs> Listen, all I can tell you, it's a great human interest story. Well, no, all I can tell you, it's a former actress. Yeah, that's right. One of the really big ones. Uh-huh. 
Okay. I'll get the stuff over for you in time to meet your deadline. So you'll have it all for your first edition tomorrow morning. You, listen, you're going to love this story. It's just full of pathos. You understand? <laughs> okay. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, where's Jack? No, you sent him over to cover the housing scandal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Franker, are you sure that this woman is Catherine Ryden? Oh, I'm positive it would have broken your heart. Do you remember? Well, uh, vaguely. As I recall, she was a very beautiful woman. Oh, well, she still is. It was really hard to tell with that rag she was wearing. But no kidding where she lived. No food, no clothing. Don't you worry, Dave. I'm going to help her. Headline <laughs> Fast Service. Oh, oh, it's you, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Jack, I'm glad you called. Get, get on over to Glow. I know, I know you're out on the time. Forget that. Go to the Globe and go through their clothes. Glo- there, there are more. That's right. Yeah, get everything, everything you can on Catherine Light. Yeah, the, the actress. That's right. Never mind what for. Tell them we're running a series of famous people. Who knows? Get going, Jack. Dave, I want you to do a, a, a story. Uh, First Lady of Theater, destitute, hits the kid due to gambling. and No, delete the gambling. We need the feminine angle. Uh, where's Dora? He sent her out after some groceries. Yeah, now what I mean is, you really want to plant this story, see, because... Hey, Chief, here's everything we have on Miss Lydon. Oh, thanks. Good work, Sidney. Just go out and get Miss Lydon some clothes, will you? What do I know about women's clothes? Well, what's to know? She's not going to go to a formal. All you have to get her is a couple dresses, some shoes, and just six of ladies' wear, some hats, and oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, here's, here's some money. Ten dollars? Where will I go? Sacks? That's all I've got. Have you got any money, Dave? Not since the last time you paid me. And that was about uh, two months ago, and that... Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> never mind, never mind. Here you are, you owe twelve dollars. Yeah, well, I'll give you an IOU. Uh, that takes care of the food. Now, what about clothes? Have you got any old clothes, Dora? You must be kidding. I'm the salary you pay me. That's all I've got. I've got this one, and I've got another yeah. old sock at home. Which one would you like? Hey, wait a minute. My mom's got a carton full of old clothes at home. She's been saving them for some worthy cause. Will you call her and tell her we'll pick them up in about an hour and go get your camera, Okay. All right, Dora, let's go back to Miss Lydon. Uh, oh, Sydney, Sydney, I want you to come with us. You finally going to let me in on a big story, huh, Chief? Yeah, I want you to carry the groceries to the car. Wait a minute, I'm a newspaper man, not a grocery boy. Carry the groceries. All right, but I'm going to report this to the Detroit and editorial. A shocking state of affairs exists in the HPS office where I detail... Yeah, what's well, going on? You're going to start reforming right now. You know, this kind of work. Mopping the floor isn't for a lady like you. Here, Dora, you finish the job. Oh, please, I, I can do that. I don't, I don't. We, we know why you're doing this, and we sure admire you. You've got guts. Here, these are for you. Food? For me? And what food? Oh, this will really put you on your feet. But really, I don't... I hate salami. I don't know what... Don't try to thank us. I'll take those, and I'll put them away for you. Please don't. I really don't need it. I don't need any charity. Oh, don't think of it as charity. It's, uh, it's just some food we had lying around. We were going to throw it away anyway. <laughs> and, and we've got something else for you. A complete new wardrobe. Well, the clothes aren't exactly new, but they're fairly clean. I don't need any clothes. I have closets full of them. You have closets for... Sydney. This is what she calls a closet full of clothes. Boy, that's pretty crummy. Uh, Sydney. Uh, what he means is it's uh, crummy that you have to suffer an indignity like that. Don't worry, you won't have to wear things like that anymore. Oh, look, you're making a mistake. I... <laughs> this is for me? Yes, it is a little big, but don't forget you haven't eaten much lately. You get a few square meals under your belt and you'll fill it out in no time. I can hardly wait. I appreciate this, but I don't want it. Well, maybe it isn't your style. We have some other things. Well, yeah, we have everything you need. We have uh, shoes and and stockings. 
Oh, who's the wise guy put this straight jacket in? Uh, that she was. Now, if there's anything missing, you just call us up and let us know. Really, this has gone far enough. I... We have just begun to help you. I don't know why you're doing this, but I wish you wouldn't. I I put the things away for you. I wasn't quite sure where you wanted everything, but you can always rearrange it. Oh, perhaps you'll listen to me. All these clothes, the food, I, oh, I really wouldn't know what to leave. Don't embarrass us with gratitude. If I was a woman, I think I'd cry. <laughs> Look, let's not get maudlin. We're going to go now, but you'll hear from us real soon. Oh, no. No, please don't. I don't need any... Oh, 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 there's one more thing. Will you uh, hold this and uh, move over there, please? That's the girl. Right over there. Here we are. Yeah, right there. That's it. Hold it up now. And uh, away we go. That's it. Hold it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Thank oh, you. what was that for? You'll find out. This is the beginning of a whole new life for you. Do me one big favor. Stay away from the horses. Gamble. I don't need any food. I want any help. How very well. That's a great story, Mike. Oh, it's so beautifully written. No, oh, it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Picture turned out good, too, didn't it? Former first lady of theater found working as maid in Long Island. Fearless reporting. Mike, do you think we should have told Miss Lydon about this before we did it? This is going to come as quite a shock to her. Well, that's what I wanted to do. I want to shock and jolt her back into reality, and this is going to do it. Yeah, it ought to jolt Broadway back into reality, too. When they read this, you ought to get all kind of offers. Well, I'll make sure of that. Sydney, why don't you go fix the Mimeo machine? You know, you're really a great humanitarian, Mr. O'Toole. Here all this time, I thought that you were cold and selfish and conniving. Never mind. Just go fix the Mimeo, will you? But it's not broke. Well, go break it or something. <laughs> Dave, did you get a list of the producers she used to work for? Oh, she only worked for one. She did all of her plays for one producer by the name of Scheidemann. Oh, yeah, Scheidemann. He's still top man on Broadway. Dora, what do you say we pay him a little visit? Do you want me along? Well, you were in at the beginning. I want you in at the end. Come, my girl. Good morning, Anne. Good morning, Ralph. Your paper. Sorry, ma'am, I... I didn't know. Uh, I wish there was some way I could help you. Uh, uh, you can forget my wages until you get on your feet again. And, uh... Uh... If you need a few dollars to... to get you by... Thank you, Robert. I don't need it. I don't need anything. And take my breakfast away. I can't eat now. Yes, Kate, 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 dear, I just read the paper. Oh, please, I've already seen it. But I had no idea that you were in financial straits. Oh. No. Not you, too. It says you're your star. Now, don't worry about that. I have a carload of groceries outside. That's what I mean. I'm up to here with groceries already. What happened to all your money? The stock market? Nothing happened to all my money. I've still got it. I'm not destitute. Not destitute? Not destitute. Well, then how did this story get in the papers? I don't know. It was probably those people who were here yesterday. They must have given this story out. Oh, that's probably one of my friends. Well, I don't feel like talking to anyone right now. Uh, I'll, I'll get... Hello. Oh, yes, pretty much. It's Scheidemann. Hello, Mr. Scheidemann. This is Ned. What's this awful news about Kate? Oh, well, there's, there's nothing to it. it. It's all a mistake. I see. Well, thank goodness it's not true. Look, uh, do you think there's any chance at all of Kate doing the play? No, no. She won't, eh? Well, keep working on her. Maybe she'll change her mind. Goodbye. 
Hey, who are you? What do you want? Where's my secretary? She's tied up outside. We'll untie her on the way out. I've seen this. Yes, I have. And you're not crying? Do you realize the plight of this poor, desperate woman, the woman who did so much for you? You are going to do something about her, aren't you? No, I'm What not. kind of a man are you? She needs help. You're going to give her a job. But I've been told she doesn't need help. Oh, don't you tell us she doesn't need help. We were there. We saw it. Now, are you going to give her a job? I've been trying to give her a job for six months. I've got a contract for her. Oh, that's a likely story. <laughs> I've been trying to get her to sign these, but she won't. Well, she's probably too proud to accept charity from you. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get her to sign them. Oh, but she won't. Do you think you can? We know we can. We'll get her to sign these without her knowing it is what, what she's signing. That's very simple. Come on, Dora, let's go. And uh, don't you call us. We'll, we'll call you. <laughs> no, Gloria, the story isn't true. Honestly, I'm all right. Oh, I can explain the picture they printed. You see, I was down in the maid's quarters cleaning up the place, and these people came in and... Miss, we were looking for Miss Lydon. We were down at the house. Miss Lydon, what are you What are you doing sitting around the main house? And, and those clothes and, and jewels. I know your boss was mean, but you shouldn't steal from her. Why did you two have to come back? Because we're not through helping you yet. Oh, no! Please don't help me anymore. Yeah, you didn't bring me any more salami, did you? Oh, no, no, no. We've got... We've got better for you. No, take it away. I don't know what it is, but I don't want it. If you want to do anything for me, call the paper you gave that story to and make them print a retraction. A retraction? That's out of the question. We can't print a retraction. Oh, a retraction. Yes, of, of course. That, that's why we're here. We knew that uh, you were embarrassed about the story, so... Uh, a retraction. And that's it. You just, just sign this form right oh, here. Oh, anything, uh, anything to get this over. Don't bother to read the rest of it. What am I signing? Well, it's a it's a standard retraction okay. form, you see, so we won't get sued for libel and all that sort of thing. Yeah, don't mind the small print. Sign this one, too, right there. The small print. There you are. There you go. Uh-huh. You can keep the pen. <laughs> you have just signed something that's going to mean a whole new life to you. There you are. What? What have I signed? Well, let me tell her, Mike. Miss Lydon, you have just signed a five-year contract with Ed Scheidemann. Contract? Five years? Mm-hmm. But I don't want... You can't do that. What have you done to me? <gasps> oh! Oh! Poor kid. She's overcome with gratitude. Does it call it good to know that he's helped somebody? You know, when she found out what we had done for her, believe me, she was speechless. And I guess she'll never forget what you've done for her. And I'm not through yet, believe me. Another month till the rehearsal of the play start, and she's got to get some money to live on. Some more coffee, Sydney. Oh, uh, Sydney, uh, call uh, Wurzel up over at Madison Square Garden and see if he's got an open night. Tell him I want to do a big charity show for Catherine Lyden. You know? Yes, okay. Dave, I think we ought to have a follow-up on that story. About what? Well, about her gambling, like uh, I was a habitual horse player by Catherine Lyden. <laughs> you think she'll go for something like that? Well... She'll get paid for it, and she needs the money. Uh, start at the beginning. Let's say that, uh, oh, in a play, she was playing the part of a compulsive gambler, and to get into the mood, you know, she started to play the horses, and it got out of control, etc. It's a lot of pathos. I want to make her come back a real smash. Okay. Mike, you're a great guy. And I don't think Miss Lydon will forget you for the rest of her life. I guess not. What would she have done without you?